Hi, welcome to The Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. We are going to show you how to replace your electrical panel. In most places, you need a licensed electrician to do this, but if you don't, I'll show you how. You will need a 100 amp or 200 amp panel. This will depend on the size of your existing service. You will need your panel, bushings, NOAA locks, and breakers. First, you want to make sure your old panel is up to code. Make sure you have a ground and a supplemental ground. If you only have one means of ground at your panel, you will need to add a ground rod outside to get your supplemental ground. If you have two grounds, you can move on to the next step. Make sure the power is off to your panel. This is usually coordinated with your utility company. Remove all the circuits from the main panel, labeling them as you go. Remove the main service wires from the main lugs. Unscrew the panel screws. Now you can pull out your old panel. Remove the main knockout and insert the main service conductors into the new panel and screw the panel into the studs. Install plastic bushing over main service conductor connector. Insert the ground wires through the two smallest holes on top of your panel. Now you need to remove the knockouts from your new panel. Insert wires into the panel using new bushings. Install main service conductor onto neutral wire using no locks on the main service wire if they are aluminum. Install leg A and B on the main breaker using no locks. Now install each circuit. Land the grounds on the ground bar, the neutrals on the neutral bar, and the hot wires on the breaker. Snap the breakers into place. Make sure the green bonding screw in the panel is tightened down. Remove the knockouts from your panel cover. Now all you have to do is label your panel. Visit thevirtualelectrician.com for more tips, tricks, and electrical fixes. Mm -hmm.